Hello Pisces, welcome to Told as Love Tarot with the Gemini Meg, Megan. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you. Um, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, this video is for Pisces placements. If you have Pisces in your rising sun, moon, or Venus sign, or if you have um, Pisces major in your chart. So, or if you're a cross watcher and you just want to know what's going on with the Pisces, welcome, welcome. Um, so the message I got for you, Pisces, as I was shuffling, I wasn't even paying attention, but then I looked down and I had a card that had flipped up at me and it was the chariot, which is cancer energy, which is the only card in the tarot deck that shows a vehicle. So Pisces, you're on the move or you're thinking of a move or you're moving or you've bought a new car or you're listening to this in the car or um, I thought about a trip. I feel like that keeps coming up in Pisces readings like trip, trip. Um, I, I got this weird message of like, um, Pisces is in a place of like recognizing the people around them being broken or being better at recognizing who around them is broken. Um, it was just so quiet. I was something about silence, radio silence, maybe you're not talking to someone. Um, I started thinking about Pisces wanting to go backwards, wanting to go back when you fell in love with someone. I heard like, I forgot you loved me. And it's like, you're having to go back and remind yourself of like things that happened in the beginning. Um, or maybe you're wishing you could go back to the beginning of your relationship. I even heard like someone's wishing they could go back to their relationship, like rewind and do things differently. And like, I don't think they would be with the same person. Pisces. Let's get it going. Oh, I can't see two cards just fell out. There's a third. I figured out how to make my videos longer, so now they won't be so squished into 15 minutes. God, we just saw the King of Cups reversed, and now it's the King of Swords reversed, and I think that I might have been onto something. Like, I hate to even say, like, I wish I'd never met you, but it's like, and now we have the Queen of Cups reversed. It's like, I wish I'd never, like, laid my eyes on you. I wish I'd never fallen in love with you. I wished you'd never talked to me. The chariot card. So Pisces, you could be dealing with someone who has cancer in their chart. You could have cancer on your chart. And if you do, this message may really resonate for you. Or you could be moving cancer season. That's the end of June into July. Or you're going on a trip in um, cancer season. Or you're traveling to go see a cancer. Oh, I see Disney. I keep getting the Florida message and like all the signs. But I guess the data shows that like everyone's traveling to Florida right now. But I just, I feel like I'm seeing Florida in everyone's message. Yeah, like mermaids and topless people and at the beach and can't you be topless in like Fort Lauderdale? Maybe that's where someone's going. I feel like I've said this to you before too, like cutting ties. I, my message was like broken people still have love though and you're recognizing this and like separating yourself. So maybe this is part of like cutting yourself free and moving forward. Maybe there's been a, oh yeah, there was a breakup here. Could have been with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a water sign, female. Um, it does Sex doesn't matter, but we just have a male here and a female here. 
uh, water female Scorpio Pisces Cancer. There was a lot of fighting, but there was also a lot of passion. And you'd known this person since you were a child. I, mean, I just heard like you've ha you've had to fight to get to where you are right now. But you are not seeing uh, you are not seeing each other. You are at odds. One of you is taking care of your spirituality as well as the kids at the same time. Someone could have been caught communicating with someone that they shouldn't have been talking to, thinking they were getting away with it. They're going to say, it didn't matter. I was. It doesn't have any feelings. But now you're wondering if there's all other people too that this person was talking to. Because this is a communication card and so is this one. And the fact that there's like a wolf on the hat, it's like, this person was like, oh, I hear a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like maybe you trusted this person. Maybe you went and traveled and visited this person because they live at a distance from you, Pisces. But gosh, this is you right now. You could be feeling sad as hell right now. Maybe you haven't heard from someone. Maybe you've you had to cut ties with someone and move. Maybe you, you're coming to the conclusion that you need to cut ties with someone and move. This is the card I saw in the beginning. Pisces, where the hell are you going? You have the chariot here. Oh, okay. I also just heard like big moves. We're making big moves. Maybe it's not just one person. Okay, maybe two people are getting new cars. They're not telling anyone about it. I also heard I also heard some like someone's not telling people how bad it's been. They're just trying to move forward. This could be at work. Work could be making you travel a lot now all of a sudden, or you've taken a job in traveling, Pisces, or now you have to tr a commute more for work than you used to, or you've taken a job working in transportation. This is, a, this is I feel like, accepting an offer. Is this a house offer? Is this someone saying, come down here, you can you can live with me? Because I know you're not happy. And I know you don't have anything in the bank. Yeah, I, I'm like, and I know it's not fair for you. And I know you've been hurt in your head. Let me make you happy. This is the sun makes me think of Florida, makes me think of the South. Someone's wondering like, how the hell am I gonna pay for this? I don't have enough money for this. I'm gonna be broke as shit. I'm gonna have to work myself to the bone. Someone's like, yeah, what am I gonna do? Someone's like working really hard. Working really hard to be able to cut ties maybe? Cancer, I. You're Pisces. You could be dealing with the Cancer. That's the that's the Chariot card. So either you have he heavy Cancer in your chart, something's happening Cancer season, or you're dealing with the Cancer. Something's due or happening Cancer season. Could be. <laughs> a Gemini Cancer cusp because the lovers just came out and there's such heavy um, cancer here. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini who you've fought with and are at odds or your person, your partner, you've, you've been at odds. Also, the fact that it's in reverse makes me think like someone has made a decision. I heard the second an offer comes around, I'm manifesting that shit and I'm getting the fuck out of here. But it's like you're not going yet because it hasn't come yet. The 
offer hasn't come yet. The new job hasn't come yet. But you are like, I am manifesting an exit. I am manifesting this job. I am manifesting... I heard like, I want to get my mental health back on track. I want to worry about myself. I've given myself to the world. I've given everything. And it's like, I want to manifest back to myself. Pisces. I cannot believe the chariot. Three times in this reading. I've never seen that. So Pisces, you are considering a big move. This could be a mental shift I also thought of too. Because what else could move besides literally moving? Your brain moving a mile a minute? The possibilities are endless, Pisces. That's what I just heard. I hope this resonates for someone out there. I wish I could go back to the cancer reading and say like, if you're dealing with the Pisces, go check it out. Um, tell your friends, tell your family, subscribe. This is a brief message, Pisces, but I just feel like you're too busy moving or driving right now to even hear what I have going on. So good luck. Drive safely. Godspeed. I'll see you next time, Pisces. Bye.